All right, so more Chris Froome VO2 Max controversy. Now, the big man did a VO2 Max test back in the day after he won the 2015 Tour de France because all the French lot reckoned he doped. And uh, yeah, so he basically did that to prove that he wasn't doping. And he's also done one in his off-season. And obviously, this all occurred uh, before his crash and after his crash. So he had a good mm. indication of his physiological uh, performances between the two. So first of all, we're going to find a Cycling Weekly article uh, to, yeah, to, to figure out what it was back in the day. Um, if you want to get rid of all the ads, if you download this reader mode um, on Google Chrome, it means you can always uh, get onto Cycling Weekly or Cycling News without the ad block thing, uh, which is very nice, or without them trying to make you pay. So anyway, you can see Froome's weight, 69.9 kilos, 2.9 kilos heavier than his tour, so he's like 67. Um, anyway, his VO2 max at his tour weight would be 88.2, which is, which is very, very high. Uh, and, you know, the thing is, VO2 max for cycling efficiency, uh, sorry, cycling performance is not the best predictor mainly because it's not a massively vo2 effort so it all actually matters is more your gross efficiency so basically how much you can uh use of your vo2 max that's uh, more of the thing it's not actually gross efficiency is a different word but anyway chris peaks 525 watts uh which is peak power output which is like when you do a ramp test so you can sort of uh, estimate from 525 if you take like 80 percent of that um then it's pretty it's pretty decent um well, seventy five percent is what people reckon is their, uh, is what their threshold is. Um, probably about right. You know, five forty. Um, anyway, so we can see here, um, Chris Froome has basically done that. So the engine was there all along. He just lost the fat. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Right. So what we're gonna do is ha watch this video here, uh, just for a minute or two. There's millimeters of oxygen in 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 those uh, uh, seconds. Okay. Um, with your weight now, which is very low, 72.1, amazing. We can that's look- That's the VO2 max, 72.1. Yeah, that's the VO2 max, uh, okay. two, one kilogram per minute. So um, if I was two kilos, two, two and a half kilos lighter, which is my, my with, race weight. Yeah, with your uh, race weight- How much weight, would that go up? Uh, it would go up with, uh, we can calculate it now. Okay. One second, very easily. So it's the same number of absolute uh, milliliters, milliliters of oxygen just divided, by, divided a, by a different uh, weight, which is lower, which is 75. Okay. Even more than that, a little okay. bit. So that's interesting. So what it says is that his VO2 max at his current fitness is 75. Um, but he also chose a different weight, which is interesting. So if we use the Tour de France rate, it might be slightly higher, maybe 77. But nonetheless, there's a big there's a big discrepancy. So we can see this guy, Jamie Langley, he's a good lad to follow on Twitter, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Um, and then it says his new VO2 max, 72 milliliters per kilogram, uh, 69 kilos. And it says here, that's a 15% reduction from his 85, which is kind of mad. Um, and then basically these are all saying that his peak power, but he didn't have, but his VT1, which is like when you start first generating lactate, which is, no, actually VT1 is different, sorry. That's like, sorry, that's lactate one. Anyway, VT1 is like, I'm pretty sure, when you start to breathe properly, like, and then his uh, threshold um, or VO2 max, power at VO2 max wasn't reported, and then his peak power output for VO2 max is 525 in 2015, seven and a half watts per kilo, which is very strong. And Peter Leo, who is like a big sports science man as well, um, he reckons it's all wrong because he must have massive gross efficiency. Uh, and yeah, so basically saying that it would be crazy that he'd have such a low peak power you'd estimate it be 485, so that would be what, like 60 watts less than his, his best back, at, sorry, 40 watts less than his best in 2015. Um, and then maybe he could have an efficiency of 405, which would, which would make sense. But they reckon that it might be out. But I think what this does show more than anything is that Chris Froome has lost a lot of his fitness. Now you might say, okay, whatever. And you'd expect there to be a slight decrease in, um, in performance due to age. But I think it's also probably the crash as well. And to be honest, it seems pretty wild because VO2 max is one of those things where it does decrease with age, but like it doesn't decrease with fitness much because your fitness is like how much you can use of it. But the fundamentals of like, you know, the VO2 max are more or less pretty stable, even if you measure off season. Like obviously when he was measuring after the tour, he wasn't in peak condition. He's obviously not in peak condition now. So it's sort of decent comparison. Um, so I guess unless they've done the calculation that the VO2 max wrong, or maybe it's higher than that. Um, I think maybe the weight might have something to do with it because he was using a lower weight when he was 84.6, I'm pretty sure. Um, and, you know, that's definitely going to make a, a big difference. 
But even so, like at his tall weight, he said here, but 85, I guess to be fair, that's the same weight, isn't it? 70 kilos here, 85, and that's what he said, 70 kilos as well in this video. So I think all in all, it's pretty obvious that Chris Froome's threshold has gone down a lot because his VO2 max has gone down a lot. Uh, and that, to me, makes me think that he can, it's going to be hard for him to get back to top, top condition because, you know, your VO2 max is your fundamental physical parameters, you know, without pushing it up and without increasing the percentage you can use, which I assume Chris Froome is probably near the peak of, it's going to be very hard uh, for him to sort of get better and better. Um, so, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty rough thing. Um, but, again, VO2 max is... They can be different place to place where you measure them. They're not the most accurate things sometimes. Um, but anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about Chris Room. Uh, will the man, you know, get a better result than this year in the tour? Or, will, or is this his peak? Um, but anyway, we'll see you in the next one.